No, this came out so pretty. I'm just so obsessed with myself. Test on my chest because I ain't ready to save them. Ready to give up on anybody that plays them. And I think I love them. I love them just like I raised them. When he call me mama, little mama, I call him baby. Hey guys, it's your girl Leah Love back with another video. As y'all can tell from the title, this video is my makeup routine so if y'all want to see how i did this masterpiece on my face keep watching today i'm going to be doing my basic makeup routine just a regular you know soft beat or whatever i thought it was a perfect time for me to do it because i have no lashes right now so yeah i'm starting on clean skin i have literally no makeup no nothing just lotion <laughs> on my face first things first i'm gonna do is prime my face maybelline master prime i actually really like this primer because i feel like it really blurs out my pores um i don't always prime my face but like if i'm going out for real for real then i'll prime my face so I just rub the primer all over my face, forehead, and look how it just blurred out. You see how my face was shiny and now it's not shiny no more? That's what primer does. So now I'm going to do my eyebrows using this eyebrow pencil I just got from the beauty supply store. On one side it's just fully and on the other side. It is the pencil so I'm gonna be using that on my eyebrows this is a dark brown shade my hair my real hair on my head is like a dark brown shade so I don't really like black eyebrows so I'm just gonna be filling in the natural shape of my eyebrows first I like to brush them in place and then Go along the bottom. I gotta fill in the ends of my eyebrows because I have like no ends <laughs> in my eyebrows. And right here. I have like one eyebrow, one of my eyebrows grows up and the other one grows regular. So like if you see the hairs, they like <laughs> they like go their own direction. So like I have mastered doing my eyebrows myself. When I get to the front, I don't like to put too much in the front because I don't like blocky eyebrows. I like to put a little and then like blend it out with the spoolie. And I'm still gonna fill in. I have a lot of eyebrow hair, so I don't really have to fill in my eyebrows too, too much. And the same thing on the other side. This is my perfect eyebrow, if y'all couldn't tell. <laughs> That's why I do the other one first. This is my eyebrow that grows stupid. So now I'm going to clean up my eyebrows by concealing them using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Toffee. Some people like to do their eyebrows with lighter shades in their skin, but I like to do my same shade because I don't like like light under eyebrows. I don't like stuff like that. So I'm just going to take my concealer and put it on this dish cap so I don't have to put it on my hand 
I'm gonna take this flat brush. This is my concealer brush. As y'all can see, it's flat and rounded. This is a MAC brush, brush 2398 if y'all want to try. And from there, I just put concealer on both sides of my brush for my dish and start outlining my eyebrows. I like to start underneath first and then do the top. So, very lightly uh, outline the shape of my eyebrows. Shaping them to my desired thickness. I don't like my eyebrows too thick, so that's why I'm doing them like this. And I'll bring the concealer down my eyelid. Then I do the other side. Now I'm going to do the top of my eyebrows. And then I'll put a line in between my eyebrows, like so. And now I'm just gonna, since I just outlined my eyebrows, fix it to my liking. I try to make my eyebrows as even as possible. So now, I'm gonna take a brush like this, a mini um, foundation brush. This is the MAC brush 287, and I use this to blend out my eyebrows, my concealer, and I just pat while lightly pulling down. I try not to, when I'm in the middle, I go up. I try not to touch my eyebrows too much and more so just blend around them. So that's what I'm doing. LA Girl Concealer, especially if you just started doing makeup. I um, what the 
Yep. Now in the front of my eyebrows, I blend a little bit in the front just so that they can be like a gradient, not like a block. Cause I really, really, really despise black eyebrows. If you have black eyebrows, don't talk to me. So now I'm going to start on my face now that my eyebrows are done. The first thing I do on my face is conceal my under eyes. Um, I conceal before and after foundation. So I take the same LA Girl Toffee color, which is my skin tone color, and I put it under my eyes to conceal them. And I just do like a star pattern. And this is when like I also conceal like any blemishes I have on my face. Um and any marks. After that I take a damp beauty blender. This is a real techniques beauty sponge. Um and I take the tip side and I pat it into my face. You want to make sure that your beauty blender is damp so that um, you can really get your makeup to spread. I think the Real Technique beauty sponge is a really good sponge because It's soft and it's not expensive. I think it's like $10. You could probably find it like other places for way cheaper. Um, I know my best friend got me this one. I had an orange one and that one is like so, I had to throw it away. But my best friend got me this one and I think she paid like $5 for it at Marshalls. So you could find them anywhere. Like they're not really expensive, but they're good sponges. Beauty Blender is obviously the best sponge. It's a little softer, but I like this sponge because it's a little bit firm. Like Next, I'm going to put on my foundation. I use two different shades of foundation by Milani. This is actually like my favorite foundation, like especially because it's a drugstore foundation, so it's not expensive. It's medium to full coverage, and it's definitely buildable. So I really like this foundation. You can get it at you can get it at Target, um, probably Walgreens, but I really like this foundation Ulta. Um, I use the two shades Amber and Natural Tan, and I mix them together to get my shade. So on my same pan, I'm gonna put one pump of Natural Tan and one pump of Amber. Mix those two together my finger like so till it's an even shade and then I just dab it all over my face dab it on my face don't forget your forehead I don't like to put a lot of makeup on my forehead what about y'all I personally don't like it because my forehead has like some discoloration and like it just does not take makeup well I feel like Since I have it all over my face like so I take my beauty blender again and use the flat side to pat it into my face so Pat it in until it is evenly blended. I like to pat it on my lips too. Once you get that off, 
sometimes you need a little bit more so pat it into my concealer as well under my eyes And then on my forehead, be careful of those eyebrows. You don't want to get foundation on them. But around my edges, not on my edges. Some people pat into their neck. I just pat into underneath my chin. I don't like to pat my makeup all the way down to my neck because it all comes together as one shade. So I don't really worry about that. And now you have your base of everything. So now I'm going to conceal again, but I'm highlighting. I'm also going to use an LA Girl concealer, but this is in a lighter shade than my skin tone. This is the shade... Warm Honey, LA Girl Pro Concealer. This, I just take it, I put one line right here. I put a line under my eye and one in between those two. And I do it on the other side. One line right here. A line under my eye and one in between both of them and then i also put it on my chin along the bridge of my nose all the way up into my forehead and i'll do a little line in the indentation of my lips so usually I'll let this sit for a little, like, and do other stuff because I feel like your concealer just blends out so nicely when you let it sit. So I'll let this sit for like two minutes. So now I'm going to take the top of my beauty blender again and blend. So I'm just going to do the same thing, tap it into my skin. Now with this, I'm not just going to tap everywhere and go crazy. I'm only tapping in these areas. So I'll bring it down here a little bit, but I'll also bring it out to my eye and a little past my eye, just so that I can get a nice clean, you know, you see that? Yeah, clean, just like that. Make sure that under eye is nice and blended. If you need to, you could flip your beauty blender back to the other side that has foundation on it and blend it in so it's more seamless along the edges. And now I'm going to do that to the other side as well. all the way out to make your eyes have a clean nice cut okay we like a nice cut bring it all the way out i like to bring it like against my nose you see where it's like against my nose right here i like to bring it in like that so my nose is more defined and now, let me blend this like so. Now I'm gonna blend the rest of my highlighter. So blend the middle of my lips, my chin. I love a chin highlight. Like that's like my favorite part. I don't know why, but I really like chin highlight. Like it's just, it does it for me. Um, and then 
my nose. And recently I've been liking nose highlight too. Like, I don't know. Before I just used to do it just to do it, but now I see the difference in my makeup versus when I don't do it. So when it comes to my forehead, I like to definitely make sure I use the other side of my beauty blender on the foundation side because I don't like a super, super bright forehead. I like just like a nice bright circle your chin highlight. Definitely a fan fave. I like to make sure I get foundation on my lips because when I do my lips, it makes it look real nice. So after that, this is when I set my face and bake my face. I use the, I use Sacha Buttercup setting powder. Um, I actually just started using this setting powder before I was using um, Revolution. And I like Revolution, but my face has like a pink red undertone. So I was just trying to get it a little bit more warm and the Sacha does that for me. If you're using Sacha, you just have to be very careful because it can look cakey. So setting spray will be your best friend. Now with the Sacha powder, I just put it wherever I put my concealer. So that's under my eyes. I get enough on my brush so that it's like sitting on my brush. And I just put it where I put my concealer. Yeah. I used to always wonder like, what is that yellow powder that people use on the back of? Because whenever I search a banana powder, it'd be too light. Like, I'm a color girl. Like, Girl, where the color at? Make sure you get all in them creases under your eyes. Okay, y'all? All in there. On the chin. Right there. Or anywhere you put your um, concealer along my nose. Now, with the forehead, I just very gently put it. I don't put too much. I don't like too much on the forehead. Okay. Done. If I was doing an eye look, this is when I would do it just so that the powder could catch any fallout and I would brush it away. But I'm not. But yeah, I'm gonna let this sit for a little, not too long, because I don't like my face to look too like, you know. But I like to let it sit for a little bit. Get this shit off my shirt. One thing about setting powder, it's gonna get everywhere. Like when you when you doing this part of your makeup, make sure your clothes are not on if you're going somewhere because baby, you will get setting powder all over it. Yeah, tell me why. I just went to get my booster shot the other day, right? I did not want that shit. Like, I did not. But I got it. And I don't think the lady gave me my shot properly. Y'all, this shit started spilling out of my arm. I didn't even want to look. Like, I didn't even look to see if it was blood or if it was um the liquid. Like, I did not even want to look. And now I have a bruise. I have a bruise. I never get bruises when I get shots. I never bleed like my arm is dripping. I didn't like, I don't know what it was. I hope it was the vaccine spilling out of me because I really did not want that. Now I'm going to dust off my um, setting powder with a big fluffy brush. But I'm going to use my Soft Focus Effort Flow Finishing Powder by Black Radiance. Y'all can't see the thing because it rubbed off. But I'm going to take some of this. This is like my face powder that I used to set my whole face. And I put some on my brush before I brush off the powder. And then I use it to brush off my powder so that it's all one color and it's not too, too light. And I just sweep it off my face like so. And I just sweep it off my face. I need to find like really good brushes that shed that don't shed like um Morphe brushes don't really shed. 
but I like these brushes and they didn't just start shedding until now these are um bare minerals brushes oh make sure y'all get that forehead and I just take my powder my face powder and I pat it into the rest of my face just to give my face a nice even shade and set the rest of my face and boom now to contour when I contour I like to use this black radiant contour palette in the shade medium to dark this is a perfect palette if you're just starting to do makeup um because it has basically everything you need it has highlight it has a medium tone shade which i used to use on my whole face but this is a little too orange for me i feel like when i use this on my face i had to make my face lighter to use this which was dumb so yeah now i use i just use this i just used that and i used an angled brush like so and i don't like to put too much and i pat into my skin pat not swipe not brush pat that way you can control just how much is going on your face i bring my contour a little bit up on my cheekbone just because i like a deeper contour make sure you bring that contour down on your jawline so you can look more snatched and not this is where you sweep your contour on you don't have to pat and then the other side boom and then to connect right here and sweep across like that connect right there sweep across And I like to take the excess on my brush and just outline my chin a little bit. Not too much, but a little bit. Just to give it some definition. And I also do my forehead. This is when I put it a little on my edges because like I said, I already have that little bit of discoloration. But it aids in my favor because it helps me contour my forehead, duh. So on my temples and my forehead, so basically your contour should I feel I feel as though your contour should connect like it should be like one two three so it's like three areas and it actually makes a three so it's like one, two three if I put too much I'll take my big brush that probably has excess on my face powder and just blend it out just so that it's less harsh along the edges. Even if I don't put too much, I tend to do this just so that it's not as harsh and that if it fell onto like where my highlighted areas are, it can come off. And boom, we contour now. We got a little definition in our face, you know what I'm saying? But I think it's cause I'm in like literally the dark. But look, see, this is the area I put too much. And I just, I'm gonna blend it out. Blend it more into my hair line versus my face. And boom, small fluffy brush. Like so. And take that same contour shade, dip a little, not a lot, and slightly contour my nose. I don't contour my nose to make it skinny. I just like to add a little definition. So I'll take it all the way up to the bridge of my nose and come down. And then come down this way. And you see how it just added a little bit of definition. You can go into your eyebrows a little bit. I put a little on my nose where it's just dimples up at the bottom. And I like to do a little bit of a line on my nose. Just so I can have a button nose, cause I like button noses. I have a little bit of a button nose, so. 
and I'll blend that out. Now, being that this is like my regular everyday makeup, I also take my contour shade sometimes and just do a little something on my eyelids with a little fluffy brush just to add some definition to my eyes. This is when I'm like not going anywhere for real. I'll just do a little something like this. Bring it in and on the other side. just so that my eyes are a little defined as well. Now after that, I like to put on blush. I am a blush girl. This is my favorite part. When it the blushes, depending on my outfit and my mood, I'll switch between oranges and pinks. Now usually I use this like really rosy pink blush by MAC. This is in the shade Love Thing. And, or I'll use this um, Telling Glow Extra Dimension blush, which is more of an orange. Um, I'm gonna use this blush, use this type of brush, which is like a fluffy brush, but it goes more out. So it's like a blush brush. And being, I'm not really a highlight girl, so like I tend to pick blushes that have shimmers in them because I don't really like highlight for real. Like I'll put on highlight in the summertime, but I don't really care for it. So when I'm using blush, I put on the apples on my cheeks. I like a lot of blush. Like I'm really that girl that just likes a whole lot. Like this is not enough, I need more. I need you, yes, I need you to see that rosiness in my face. I love blush. I put it a little on my nose. Yeah, a little on my nose. And I put some on the tops of my eyebrows, on my temples. I put blush everywhere, honey. I love blush. You can never have too much blush, okay? Now that all of that is done, it's time for lashes. So I have this really big um, pack of lashes. And it has like 40 pairs of lashes. Um, I got it off Amazon. I'll probably try to find it and put the link in the description. But this is a good, I don't think I paid that much for it either. I think I paid like $20 for this. And it's 40 lashes, come on. And it's a whole bunch of different lashes. It's like a whole bunch of different like types of lashes. Y'all see the difference? And I wanna use these. Cause they're not too like thick. I'm gonna measure it. See if I need to cut them. Oh, I don't need to cut these. Wow, don't need to cut them. I just got lucky. Yeah, I got lucky. I don't need to cut them. But usually I need to cut my lashes because I have fairly small eyes. I put the glue on my lashes. And the other one. And I let those sit a little bit and get tacky. And while I do that, while I let those sit, I use mascara on my lashes. This is a Tarte mascara. Tarte. Lights, camera, lashes, mascara. Lightly coat my lashes. And this helps with if you have any foundation or concealer on your lashes, it'll cover it up. And just let your eyelashes blend. I put some underneath my, on my bottom lashes too. And I literally don't put a lot as y'all can see, I literally only dipped it in one time because I just don't like a lot of mascara on my lashes at all. <laughs> my lashes on.
And once I feel like my lashes are on, like where I want them to be, I just squeeze them into my real lashes. You can use the tweezer for this, but I feel like it's just more effective with my fingers. The one thing I can't stand about lashes is they just don't be looking the same. That's why I get my lashes done because one eye is gonna be higher, one eye is gonna be lower. But I like these lashes, these are cute. These just became my little go-to. They so cute and regular. Lash glue on my eye, I just take the tweezer and fill it right off. Scoop it right off and it feels right off. And boom. Okay, perfect. This out. Re dot my um beauty marks out on right here with my eye um and I just think it looks cute so I like to do that and then by my eye okay and boom my beauty marks is back now I do my lips. lips. Now with lips, we still have the foundation on. Chestnut by Mac. My chestnut needs to be sharpened, but I'm If you're looking for a nice deep brown, this is your deep brown. And then I just spread out a little on the corners. And boom. Then I take this Morphe lip gloss. This is in the shade Flower Crown. Their lip glosses are so good. I love them. And I just put it in the middle of my lips just so I can get that nice like bright middle I'm not too crazy about like nudes so I just do it in the middle and then I take this Morphe Frosé, my Frosé is like damn near done. And I put it all on top to blend. Like that. And then to add a little bit more gloss and a little more pink, I'll use this Juicy Licious, oh Jelly Licious lip gloss on my lips too. Now, last but not least, I take my Morphe setting spray and I just set my whole entire face. Best settings for 
I feel like setting spray just brings your whole face together like really does it in it. And ladies and gentlemen, this is the finish makeup look. So cute, so pretty. This is so pretty. <laughs> I love makeup. Makeup is like the best thing. Ooh, like faces. <clears throat> Hold on. I'm feeling myself right now. I'm about to just take a whole bunch of cute selfies and TikToks and just like I'm feeling my hair, makeup done, did, looking like a baddie. Yeah.